And to do that, I'd like to ask Craig Federighi, who's our Vice President of Engineering for Mac OS X, to come give us a demo. All right. Well, thank you, Steve. Thanks, Craig. Well, hello. Oh, wow. Thank you. So, I'm absolutely thrilled to give you this sneak peek of just a few of the many features coming in Mac OS X Lion. And I'd like to start with the App Store. So the App Store, with the App Store, we've taken everything that users love about the App Store for the iPad, and we brought it to the Mac. I can get to the App Store right here on my dock. See on the featured page, I have access to the new and noteworthy applications on the store. I see what's hot, staff favorites, great way to track what's going on. Across the top, I also have top charts. Here I can see the top paid and the top free apps currently on the store. Over here in categories, I get a great place to go if I'm looking for something specific, for instance, education apps for the kids. And finally, we have updates. The App Store is tracking all of the apps you've downloaded on your Mac, uh, and when they have new versions available, they're listed right here. And if you want to, uh, you can select one, or with a single click on Update All, you can bring your Mac entirely up to date. Well, next I want to show you just how easy it is to purchase and install a new app using the App Store. I'm going to go back to the Featured page, and I like to install Pages. I don't have Pages on this machine right now. So I'm going to go to the uh, Product Overview page. You see I get this great description. I get these gorgeous screenshots. Help me make sure I'm uh, buying the right thing. I get these customer ratings and reviews. It's really helpful to make sure I'm making the right decision. And when I'm ready to purchase, it's just one click on the Buy button. You'll see the app icon actually lifts up and flies out of the App Store down to my dock. Now, this is a real App Store app speaking the real protocol to a real server and downloading a real copy of Pages to my machine. And you see installation has never been easier. With just a click, I'm running my newly purchased application and creating my first Pages document. It's just that easy with the App Store. So that's the Mac App Store. We think developers and users alike are really going to love it. So next up is the Launchpad. Launchpad is a super convenient way to organize and launch all the apps you have on your Mac. See it right here in my dock with a click. Launchpad leaps forward to this beautiful full screen grid of my apps. If I want to launch something, let's say dictionary, it's just a click. And Launchpad fades back, my app fades forward. I can also organize really conveniently here in Launchpad. You see we have iPad style pages so with a multi-touch gesture on my mouse or trackpad, I can just flick my way to other applications, for instance, my productivity apps, my games, so forth. Really, really easy. I also can organize my apps within these pages. So if I want to move iTunes, let's say, up here to the top, I do what a Mac user would expect. I click and drag, everything gets out of the way, I let go, and I've reorganized. Really nice. I also can create folders, just like on iOS. So let's say I want to create a productivity folder. I just pick up Keynote, drag it on top of numbers, let go, and I have a folder. I can add my new uh, pages, pick it up, drop it, just like that, I've created a folder. So that is Launchpad coming in Lion. Next up, full screen apps. We've brought the immersive experience of apps on the iPad to the Mac. And we provided a great new way to work with apps in full screen. I'm going to demonstrate by opening a PDF. So here we have preview open with a PDF. Looks nice. But now, because in Lion, full screen is integrated, I can click on a standard control, and the, it sweeps open into a gorgeous full screen view, facing pages view. When I'm in here, I then can use gestures to move between the pages of the PDF. Really convenient. But what's really great about full screen and Lion is that I don't have to leave full screen if I want to go work on something else. I can do a simple multi-touch gesture on my mouse or trackpad, and I'm right back at my desktop. And when I want to get back to that full screen app, I just gesture back. Super simple. Let's take a, uh, another app full screen, in this case, iPhoto. Now, Phil demonstrated earlier that iPhoto has this fantastic full screen experience. I can now get to it with a standard control. I'm now in full screen iPhoto. And this is how I'll probably want to work in this app all the time. But if I want to get back to my preview document, 
I just flick. Want to get back to my desktop? Same thing. And we've even made dashboard accessible in the same way. So flick to the left of my desktop, and I have access to all of my widgets. Super simple. Now, of course, as a Mac user, I also love working with Windows. So I'm going to bring, and I mean Windows, not Windows. So <laughs> I, I'm going to open up some Windows. We have App Store here. I'm going to open up the App Store, Safari, iCal, iTunes, and let's say a, uh, a Pages document here. So I can, of course, flick between these different experiences here like this, and that's really convenient. But we've made it, made it even better. What we've done is unified Windows, full screen apps, dashboard, and even spaces into a single place. A place where you can get at anything on your Mac from wherever you are. And we call that place Mission Control. I'm going to take you there right now. With a gesture on my trackpad, I enter Mission Control. We see I have a beautiful expose view of all of my windows. Across the top here, I get my full screen apps, my dashboard, and my desktop. And along the bottom, my dock, so I can get at all my apps. With a click, I can get to anywhere. If I want to get to iPhoto, I just click, and I'm taken right there. With a gesture, excuse me, with a gesture, I'm back in Mission Control. I can go to Preview and back, or back to my desktop. Super simple. And because I, we have this great expose, if I'm looking for a window and it's covered up in my desktop clutter, I can go to that same place. So let's say I want to find that App Store window. I can just flick in. And you see there's App Store right there. And it's clustered by app, so it's really easy to find. I click, and it comes forward. Now, we've made expose even better in, uh, in Lion because these app clusters take multiple windows from the same app and bring them together. And then if I want to peek, and see a particular window, maybe to get a better look before picking my particular Safari window, I just flick open, I can pick the window I want, and bring it right to the front. So that is mission control. And that's your sneak peek of just a few features coming in OS X Line. Thank you very much.